principal. <laughs> you need to sign these, initial these, here's your phone list, and Cedric's waiting to see you with Henrietta's mama. Dog, we got a situation here. Mrs. Sims, this is Mr. Hightower. He's the acting principal. Now, I was just trying to explain that Henrietta cannot start on our football team if she can't read her own name on her jersey. And I keep trying to tell the coach here, Heisman Trophy first, ABC second. My baby was born to block. <laughs> oh, now, Miss Sims, I have seen Henrietta play. And it is magnificent and frightening. <laughs> but we have an academic policy here for our athletes. Now, this might sound a bit unreasonable, but she got to read. My Henrietta can read. <laughs> With all due respect, uh, she calls her number 10 jersey line in a circle. <laughs> Look, uh, Miss Sims, I'm sorry, but until Henrietta brings her grades up, she just can't play on this team. You have not heard the last of me, little mister. <laughs> Lady, this high school football, now what you gonna do, sue us? Well, thanks for the idea, pal. <laughs> Steve, I don't think that's how Regina would have handled that. Say, man, Regina ain't here. I'm the principal now. You ain't changed, dog. You changed. Wow, Regina, what you doing here? I was just on my way home from the symposium, and I don't feel right not being at work. I'll be in the office tomorrow. Oh. Well, fine, Principal Control Freak. You can come on back. But I can tell you right now, today, Ran as smooth as Big Daddy's rap down at the Players Club. As smooth as your rap? What, that's supposed to make me feel better? That's funny, Regina. But seriously, though, I got everything under control. All right, all right. Thank you, Steve. And you know what? I probably underestimated you. One day, you're gonna make a great principal. There you go. Now, Regina, I really appreciate that vote of confidence. I wish I was dead. <laughs>